Hi, I'm Stephen Strait, you might know me from The Expanse, and here we are, I'm about to experience zero G for the first time for real. Hey. Hey, Stephen, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Pleasure to meet you too. So excited to be here. This is amazing. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What, what, tell me, what, what are these different sections for? What do they, what do, they do? So one of the primary uh, jobs of, the, of, of this company, this organization, is actually to give people opportunities to conduct experiments in microgravity. Right. So down at the front end of the plane here, you'll see all these people with their rigs set up. Right. And each one of these sections is a, a scientific experiment uh, designed to help us understand uh, better what happens in a microgravity environment. It's amazing. And then here at the back of the plane, we have a setup here to help us as we're training uh, as astronauts to learn some of the skills or start to kind of become familiar with some of the skills that we might need uh, when you're flying on the International Space Station. Of course. Uh, so here we have a, a task where you translate from one end to the other wow. and you secure yourself using your feet. Right. Um, and behind you here, so when astronauts do a, a spacewalk, yeah. uh, an extravehicular activity or an EVA, uh, often they go on the end of this big robotic arm. Right. And in order to secure themselves on the end of the robotic arm, they have to get their feet into this platform here. And the, so you wear these special boots, wow. and the soles on the on the spacesuit have these uh, these cleats, right. which engage into into this. It's so incredible. we were practicing doing that in microgravity. That's today. so wild. And, yeah, and how was it? I mean, it was really good. You know, it's, yeah, it's not the first time I've flown oh, uh, on a parabolic flight, but it's right. the first time I've tried to do tasks Amazing. like this, and it was good. Yeah. successful. I'm happy it was successful. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And and your background? Are you an engineer, a physicist, scientist? I'm not actually. No, I so I uh, I well, I'm I'm a scientist, but. Yeah. Uh, 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 I had a motorcycle accident when I was 19, I see. Uh, when I was uh, in Thailand, right. lost my right leg above right. the knee, um, and then I was always into sport, uh, gotcha. and so I got back into sport and became uh, uh, a runner, Amazing. I competed as a Paralympic athlete at the Paralympic Games in, in Beijing Incredible. in yeah, Incredible. And then after that, um, I thought, you know what, I, I really love science, yeah. uh, and I, want, uh, I was really curious about learning, and I wanted to my job to be science-based. So sure. I applied to medical school. Amazing. Uh, oh, wow. Trained to be a doctor. Yeah. Um, so then I qualified as a doctor about 10 years ago. Uh, and most recently, I've been working as a trauma and orthopedic surgeon before I came to, to work with the UK Space Agency and, and ESA to do this. Incredible. What an amazing story. Yeah. So, so when, when, you've been, when you've been testing this out on the parabolic flights, it must have been fascinating, just the interaction of, of having you know, an, amp an amputated leg in, in this situation with a prosthetic. Yeah. How, is, was, was your expectations different than, than what the actual experience was or or not yeah I, it was about the same okay. actually and I think um, I think I've probably found the translation activity a, a, maybe a little bit harder sure but the activities where the other activities went well uh, and some of the things we were testing here today were um, the, the knee the prosthetic knee I wear is a what we call a mechatronic knee so it's okay. a combination of mechanics and electronics and hydraulics and it's got gyroscopes and accelerometers in it right. and that sort of stuff in it. We were like, how is this going to work in, in microgravity? And so you're, you're planning on going up, up to space, yeah? Or is it you training? I, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers so crossed. The first stage is to do this feasibility study and gotcha. say, listen, we think it is feasible. Sure. Um, and if it is feasible, then hopefully we get support from uh, the member states of the European Space Agency to um, get me on a, on a flight, um, hopefully in the next few years. That's the aim. Nothing's yeah. guaranteed yet, but that's the aim. Of course, I mean, such an incredible thing to, to be able to train for this and on an inter, in an international group. And you know, I think there's something so wonderful about about space travel and the space industry, where where we really are a we up there. Absolutely. As opposed to you know having borders and whatnot down here. I mean, yeah, definitely. And I think certainly the space industry it transcends boundaries and, and borders, and it really does bring international communities together right. and really really harnesses international collaboration. We wouldn't be in space. We wouldn't have been in space for as long as we have been successfully if it weren't for that collaboration. Right, of course, and 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 also the diversity of scientists. Yeah, you know, just just in being here for for a couple hours, it's like astrophysicists, medical doctors, engineers. I mean, it's just an incredible. Yeah, people who are, and as well, people who are enthusiastic and engaged in in physics like yourself. You know, yeah. this is one of the. The kind of the spin-off effects of what we do right. is getting people interested in these areas. Right, this is the the future of our industry. Right. So we've got to make it interesting. Yeah, of course. 
there is often cross-pollination here as well, not just diversity within an experiment, but across experiments, you get people meeting other people and go, oh, did you, you what have you got going on over there or, or something? And, they, and they, they meet up afterwards and maybe collaborate in the, in the future. So it's a really great platform. That's amazing. And, and as an athlete, I, I, you know, I know that when people are in the station, it's like, it's like two hours of working out a day, right? Yeah. I mean, in terms of like losing body mass, bone mass and things exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's quite tough. And yeah. if you think about how an important a resource crew time is, right? right? So it's about, right. um, it's, it, to do two hours of exercise a day takes that out of what a crew would otherwise be doing. But if you're gonna maintain your bone health and your, your cardiovascular health, you, you've got to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, well, you've just been, thank you. Thank you so That's much for pleasure. your time. Yeah. And I wish you uh, the best flight, thank and you. I really hope you uh, enjoy it. It's yeah. a great experience. I'm excited. I'm, I'm genuinely so excited to be here, I can't even tell you. It's gonna be good fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I really am. I mean, you know, just to see, just to see what it feels like to actually feel it as opposed to portraying it. Yeah. You know, we, we worked with a dance choreographer yeah. on wires yeah. for years to, to make How it. How high would you go with the with the wires? It depended on the shot, but like sometimes really high. Okay. Yeah, so like the top of, you know, a warehouse, up 200 feet up, yeah. you know, but you're in the suit and, you know, you, depending on what we were doing, the pick points would be in different spots, yeah. right? So like, but we were in the, in the suits themselves and with, you know, without having the benefit of no gravity, they all have weight. Yeah. Right? So it's like this, the, the helmet and the boots and the pack. To be able to stabilize yourself is all core work. And that's right. So you're, you're in that as well. And I guess there's only so much post-production you can do. So you've got to actually do it in a lot of the kit. That, that... Almost all of the stuff we did was practical. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I'm really, really excited to actually see how it feels. It's, um, it's really weird. It's so difficult to explain to someone what it's like. Right. Uh, without them having done it. Right. Uh, and then you, you do it and you go, yeah, no, I, I, I get it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really difficult to articulate. Yeah. We just haven't got, in one year, you just haven't got the same experiences to, to make the analogy. Of course. Uh, so, but it's, yeah, it's super cool.